Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new, you're most definitely welcome. If you are a returning, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So um, I want to appreciate the 66 subscribers that I have. I know I've not been posting for a long time now. I really apologize for that. Now I'm going to try my best to be more consistent and give you guys content. So for today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to draft a basic bodice using Natalie Bray pattern to achieve this. Okay, so there are various ways of you uh, making your, your outfits, various patterns, but what I know about is Natalie Bray. I started using Natalie Bray last year, and that's because I went to a fashion school, so that's what I've been using since last year, and to be honest, I really find it really interesting and nice. It makes my outfit look really good. So with that being said, um, when you're working with the Natalie Bray pattern, you need to know that it comes with a chart. All right, and this chart has different sizes of people. Different sizes are in the chart, and so we work with this chart. Personally, I don't have the textbook, but I do have um, a screenshot of the chart on my phone. That's where I usually work with. All right, so um, now for you to work with the Natalie Bray pattern, you have to work with the bust measurement, not the hip measurement. For example, if your bust is, um, let's say, because another thing again, we work with centimeters, not we work with centimeters and not your regular inches. So we always work with centimeters. So for example, if your bust is 84 centimeter, what you will do is you go to the chart and check for 84 centimeter. When you see 84 centimeter, every information that follows that 84 centimeter bust measurement will be what you're going to work with, all right? You're not going to work with the hip measurement. What you're working with is the bust measurement. The information you need for your pattern it's gotten from your bust measurement, not your hip measurement. I don't know if that makes sense, but maybe along the line you get what I'm trying to say. So if, for example, your bust measurement is 83, 84 centimeter and your hip is 85 centimeter, and you check the chart and then you see 84 centimeter, which is correct, and that's your bust, and you see another figure different from your actual figure, please guys, make sure you use your actual figure. All right. The only the essence of that chart is just for other informations that you can't get with your tape measurement. There are some informations that are just peculiar to that size, which you don't need to measure on your client. You just go straight there and pick it up. So that's just the essence of the chart. The chart doesn't mean if your waist is 60 and the chart is telling you that your waist is 70, that means you should use the chart. No. What the chart is telling you, when you have your actual measurement, make use of your actual measurement. The only thing the, the chart is important is for measurements that you don't need to take from your clients most especially when you're doing a ready-to-wear collection like or maybe your client is far away from you and you're able to get the bust you're able to get the waist and you're able to get her hip measurements every other information you can find your way around it using the chat that's just the essence of the chat okay that being said let's get right into this tutorial now um this is my pattern paper the first thing you need to do is to draw a border why i like doing why i like um, drawing my border is because for example if you draft your pattern and let's say you started drafting your pattern from the tip of your paper it could fold and you, you could end up losing some measurements if you want to reuse that pattern so the, the best thing is always to come down a little bit margin this is not part of our sewing measurement this is just helping you to safeguard your pattern so that even when it shrinks or anything like that it doesn't affect your original made pattern i hope that makes sense so now I will come down to CM. This is just like the very first thing that you do. Just to safeguard your pattern for future reference. Then we'll come to the side and take one CM and rule a straight line like this. So one CM. So after this, this is, like I said, this is not part of your measurement. This is just a guide for you to safeguard your, your pattern paper so that for future reference, you don't lose a measurement at the tip or anything like that. So now we're getting started. The first thing we have to do now is to get the, the, largest, the largest part of your measurement. So for me, mine is um, my hip. And my hip is 88 cm. 
all right it's 8 cm so you're going to divide it's 8 cm into two divide it's 8 cm by two then add 5 cm to it the essence of doing that is for us to get the our border like just like our border you understand what i'm trying to say because when you're drafting a natalie bray pattern we we draft both the center front and the center back at the same time do you understand so and the center front and center back has to be in that margin in that box so we're actually trying to do a box right now so like i said i said the fullest part of your measurement the highest measurement you have minus the hip divide your hip by two plus five cm if it's your stomach that is the largest part of your measurement divide your stomach by two plus five cm so my hip is 88 cm divided by two that's 44 44 plus five that's 49 cm so I'm from this from this um, line here the margin here from this line here i will just put my 49 cm there and mark across the front uh, our front bodies and back bodies my front bodies and back bodies is going to be within this range all right so this excess that we're having at this side we don't need it we don't need it this is just like a guide it's not compulsory but it's, it's okay it's necessary so this is where my center front and my center back will be my center front and center back will fit into this margin all right so that's the very first step when you're drafting your natalie gray pattern like because i am slim that's why i have excess some you might have a client that you will have to double this paper so it's going to move so don't think that you must have excess it depends on your size all right by the time if your hip is 96 you divide it 96 divided by 2 plus 5 it could be bigger than this if your hip is 100 it could be bigger than this so that's that's that so with that being said the first measurement we're going to do now is to get our point zero so guys please follow me closely okay follow me closely don't get discouraged just listen to me and get your pattern paper join me while i'm drafting this pattern follow me closely step by step and um, make sure you go through this video two times three times it's going to help you all right so just follow me so that you don't get lost all right get your pattern paper get your pencil and just join me anything i do you do the same thing so i to help you learn faster all right so the first thing we're going to do now is to get our point zero and point zero is on the chart all you have to do is to go to the chart check for your bust measurements whatever information that follows your bust measurements you will see point zero on that information so go to the, your chart now like i said you can get the charts you can buy it in lagos island if you stay in lagos you can get it at yaba you know so um you can get it any of those people they sell sewing materials you can ask them for natalie Bray textbook or so so um, with that being said we have to get point zero which is the very first point. my bust measurement is 83 c and that's my actual bust measurement but when i went to the chart i realized that there is no bust 83 in the chart so what they had they have in the chart is bust 84 that's exactly what i was trying to tell you guys so what they have in the chart is bust 84 but that doesn't stop anything all i have to do since i'm just interested in some other information i will just pick I will just go for bust 84 which is closest to my actual measurement but i'm still going to maintain my measurement of 83. the only thing is that every information in that 84 i will just make use of it to make up my pattern if that makes sense so um the chart tells me that my point zero is 2.5 cm so check your chart point zero from this margin from this margin here point zero is 2.5 cm this is 2.5 cm and we're going to mark this point zero we'll just extend this line so that we can have a straight line 2.5 cm that's what the chart tells me that my point zero is okay so now we'll just rule really a line and stop somewhere around so this line serves as your neckline so this is point zero right here so your subsequent measurement will follow through from points from point zero the next measurement we're going to do now is to get our waist length. Our waist length based on the charts. Uh, my waist length on the chart is telling me the waist length for me on the chart is 41 cm. So go and check your charts now and check what is your waist length saying. Mine is telling me, mine is 41 cm. So from this point zero, I will mark 41 cm. From point zero here. I'm going to mark 41 cm and this is it 
for tomorrow seeing and i'm going to mark this all the way make a straight line all the way across all right so so because i started from this point to get our 41 cm you know that if you if you're going to make a straight line you have to start from this tip to get that straight line so that means you're going to add back this to the measurement all i'm just doing is to make a straight line because i started from this point to get my 41 cm if i want to make a straight line and i'm starting from the edge of this paper i will have to add the 2.5 cm to 41 cm to get the to get 43 cm so that it's going to be straight on this line please if you have any questions please just leave it down in the comments so, waist length waist length measurements the next measurement we're going to get now is the hip length and for the natalie berry pattern the hip length they actually claim that the standard hip length is 22 cm which obviously that's not really that's not true because we have different shapes and sizes some people are way curvier so 22 cm is, is applicable for maybe a slimmer person or so so your ideal hip depth of hip hip as your hip depth should be from 20 cm to 25 cm so mine is 22 cm so from your waistline here you're going to mark 22 cm that's if yours is 22 cm these are hip lengths twenty two CM and now I'll get my ruler and connect this line. So oh my god. My table. So this is your hip line. This guys, this is a mistake. That's why I hate using a marker. So this is a mistake. So this is your hip line. This is the hip line this is a mistake guys so pardon me okay just because it's a marker we can't erase it so it's just going to be like that so this is your hip line hip line waistline hip line the next measurement we're going to get now is the your armhole line otherwise called depth of armhole so your armhole line from point zero the chat tell the chat the information is in the chat so the chat tells me that the chats in the chat my depth of armhole is 20.5 cm so um i'm just going to from this point zero mark 20.5 cm this is 20 cm 20.5 cm is right here so 20.5 cm we're going to rule that all the way across so because we started from this point to get our 20.5 cm if we're going to rule across we're starting from here right so we have to add back the 2.5 cm to the 20.5 cm so that we can get a straight line all right so we have 23 straight line this is our armhole line which is otherwise called depth of armhole all right so this is our armhole line and the next so like i said we have our armhole line waistline hip line the next measurement is to get the midpoint from point zero to your armhole line what's the midpoint of point zero to armhole line to get the midpoint you divide 20.5 divided by two that's 10.25 you can just approximate it to 10.5 so that's 10.5 10.5 quick line like so. the midpoint and this midpoint is what we call the back line all right this is what we call the back line so we call this the, the back line all right now the next measurement we're going to get now is guys follow me closely from this point zero you come down 3 cm this is standard when i say something is standard what i mean is standard it applies to all sizes all right so from point zero you come down 3 cm 
0.0, you come down 3 cm. This will serve as your shoulder line. Right? This will serve as your shoulder line. You make a straight line. This will serve as your shoulder line. This first line, this point zero is what we call our neckline. So this is neckline, this is the shoulder line, the back line, the armhole length, the waist length, and the hip length. All right. So after doing this now, if you go to your chart based on your bust measurements, for me, my my uh, my charts uh, in my charts I can find back neck width. Sorry, um back width. Your back width is given in your charts. So your back width, for my back width, my back width is 35 cm. So check your chart and you'll see it there. So your back width, my back width is 35 cm. 35 divided by 2. You divide, the, you divide your back width by 2. So mine is 35 cm divided by 2, that's 17.5. On this back line, I will mark 17.5. All right. This 17.5. Come here again and mark. 17.5 and come to the shoulder line as well and mark 17.5 so that I can get a straight line. So now this is a straight line. All right, this is a straight line. Now, the next measurement we're going to do now from this your shoulder line, from this straight line right here, shoulder line, go out to CM. It's standard for all sizes. Go out to cm. This is standard for all sizes. Go out to cm. So this is um, two cm. All right. This is two cm right here. Two cm, which is standard. Right. I hope you guys are still with me. Now for your neckline, we have to know our neck width. That's our neck width measurements. Check your charts. You see there. Your neck width, the, the first measurement I said was your back width. Your back width was how we were able to get this kind. The back width was 35. I have mine is 35 divided by 2. Give me 17.5. That's how I was able to get this margin. The next is your neck width. You will find that too in your charts. So my neck width is um, 6.5 cm. That's your back neck width is 6.5 cm. So on this neckline here, I'm just going to mark 6.5 cm. I'm just going to mark 6, 6.5 cm like so. Then after marking 6.5 cm, on that line, I'll go up to cm. This is standard. It's applicable for all sizes. You understand? When I say something is standard, I'll always remember it's applicable to all sizes. It's just the rule. So this is 2 cm right here. All right? Now I'll get my curve to, to form my neck measurements like so all right i hope it's beginning to make sense now this is what we call our np your neck point so from this place we'll connect it to this 2cm our shoulder line we we'll connect this point to this point so this is it this is your shoulder line now to get the curve, to get the ample curve this way, what we have to do, if you go to your chart, you will see um, something written back up. Back up. Back up depends on your sizes. So if you check your own size, that's let's say your bust is 96, go and check bust 96. Look for what is written as back up. Mine, my bust is 84. Going into that place, I will check what does the back up tell me in that bust measurement. The back up for, my, for the bust measurement is 84. Is 5 cm so from this line we're going to mark 5 cm like so this is this is 5 cm after doing this get your you need to have this French curve it's a life changer so the compass side of this French curve you place the line here matching this line and gets angle 45 degree this is angle 45 degree here the lines Get look for angle 45 degree here and take your ruler, connect that point to this point, and take your tape. This is standard, 
mark 3cm on that line. 3cm on the line. So we're good to go now. So you're going to take your French curve, connect this point to this point and this point. All right? Touching it. So this is how mine is. You can see, make it sure it touches them. It touches the three points at the same time. So this is what I have. I think we're okay. I'm just going to give it a nice curve. So this is what it looks like. All right. Like I said, when you're doing a Natalie Bray pattern, we always start with the back measurement, the, the back pattern first. So this is what we call center back. This is your back pattern, this side. So now the we are almost done with the back measure with the back pattern. The next thing we're going to do now is the hip measurements. Our hip measurements, my hip measurement is 88 cm. 88 divided by 88 divided by 4. That's 22 cm. So I'll come to my hip line here and mark 22 cm. Don't forget our margin here. 22 cm. You mark 22 cm. This is just this margin is like I said, it's just to help you save your paper so you, every measurement you're starting every measurement from this from this line all right from this line so what i have here is 22 cm so i'm marking 22 cm i'll connect it using my ruler connect this point to this point with the help of my ruler so this is what we have Okay, so we now have our center back almost ready. All right, so I'm going to leave this now and go straight to the center front. Later, we'll come back to this place. So this is our center back. It's almost ready. And this is our center front. Like I said, the both pattern will be in that margin. You can see the, the line. This is the line. So the center front is going to be in this margin. All right. Like for my for me, I have excess. I have excess, which I'm going to cut off, which is not important. But it's not compulsory that you must have excess. That's my point. It's not compulsory. Just make sure that your center front and center back fit into whatever margin you have created. So after doing this, next we move to the center front. We are not going to do the point zero we did here. We're not going to do the point zero we did there. All we're just going to do is come down from this margin, from this line here, we'll come down 4.5 cm. That's 4.5 cm is for smaller sizes. Now, what do I consider small size? Small size is anything from 92 below. That's 92, 90, 80, including my size, is referred to as small sizes. Larger sizes is anything above 92, all right? So for my bust measurement is 84. Definitely, that's a small size. So um, this point from here to here will be 4.5 cm. But if it's for a larger size, you will mark 4 cm. This is a standard measurement. If it's for larger size, you mark 4 cm. So a smaller size, you mark 4.5 cm. So I'm going with 4.5 cm for small size. So just mark 4.5 cm. This serves as our shoulder line. 4.5 cm. I'll take my tape now and rule that line. All right. The next measurement we're going to get now is the neck. Same neck we use for the center back. The back neck width, which is 6.5 cm for my size. The back neck width is 6.5 cm, which we used here. We're going to repeat the same thing here. So 6.5 cm from this top of top of the paper. We'll come down 6.5 cm. Come in here, 6.5 cm. We're trying to make a box. 6.5 cm as well. So 6.5 cm. This is going to serve as our neck, our neck measurement. All right. After doing this, you get your French curve, the compass side of the French curve. Forgive my French curve. <laughs> I need to get a new one. So the compass side of the French curve, you just place it like this and go 45 degree. Then take your ruler, just like what we did for the armhole. Rule a straight line from that point to this point. 
and take your tape and get 3 cm from that line. This is 3 cm. All right, just like what we did for the ample. Then get the curve connecting this point. This point is known as our MP. All right, connecting this MP to this point, then to this point. All right, so this is our neck, our neckline. So for this line, we will extend this line, this line, we extend it to this point by 16 cm or 16.5 cm. This is standard for all sizes, either 16. So let me go ahead and extend this line. Okay, you extend it by either 16 or 16.5 cm. This is for all sizes. So from here to here, it's 16. So I'm using 16. All right. I'm going to use 16. Okay. So with that being said, from this MP right in here, you connect it to this point. 20 to 22 cm. MP to this point, 20 to 22 cm let's check if we have 20 to 22 cm okay i think we need to extend it more so connecting mp to that line 20 to 22 cm this is just a guide okay i think we're okay so this is our shoulder line okay the next measurement we are going to do right now is our dart measurements because this pattern usually comes with shoulder darts. But before then, let's get our chest line. Don't forget, this line is your armhole line. This line you see here is the armhole line, right? This is your armhole line. So for the center front, we usually get the chest line. But for the center back, we don't need the chest line. Center front, chest line. And how do you get your chest line? This is standard. From this, your armhole line, go up 4 cm. From this armhole line, go up 4 cm. Okay, mark 4 cm and just get a straight line. This will serve as your chest line. This is standard for all sizes. From the up hole line, you go up 4 cm. That's standard for all sizes. So this has been done. The next thing we're going to do now is to get our shoulder dart because the Natalie Bray bodies comes with a shoulder dart. So that one is inevitable. You always see it in almost all Natalie Bray patterns. So it comes with a shoulder that. So with that being said, how do you get your shoulder that? Go to your um, pattern, your Natalie Bray textbook. Under your measurements, your bust measurements, check for check for um, chest width. Chest width is chest width is always given to you. You always find it there under your bust measurements. So for bust eighty four which I'm working with, the chest width is 36 cm. So 36 cm, divide 36 cm by 4. 36 divided by 4. That's 9 cm. So this will serve as your dark line. When you're do, working with the Natalie Bray pattern, you don't need to be doing, you don't need to do nipple to nipple. We don't do that. Maybe you can do it, but I personally don't do it. So I just make use of this to get my nipple to nipple. All right, so um, you just say, like I said, your chest width divided by 4, what I have is 9 cm. So, on this armhole line, I'm going to mark that 9 cm. On the chest line, I also mark 9 cm, just to have a straight line. On the top line here, I also mark from this line. If you, if, you, if you notice, you can see that this is our guide. From this line, we mark 9 9 cm. All right. So this chest line, this um, armhole line right here, right, will come down 2 cm. This is standard for all sizes. Come down 2 cm. Then take your ruler and connect this point to this point and this point all the way to this 2 cm here. So we're going to connect it like so. So this is what 
this is what we have. This point serves as your point X. This is usually what we call point X. All right? Hope we're still together. <laughs> so after getting this, now this is just a guide for you. All right? This is just a guide to get your dots. So the next thing we're going to do now, which is standard for all sizes, from this point here, that's this point, this line, from this point, you're going to mark 2cm standard. You're going to mark 2cm and connect that 2cm to this point X. You're going to connect 2cm to point X. Like so. So this will serve as your first dart leg. This will serve as your first dart leg. Now, go to your chart under your bust measurement. You will see your dart measurement. My dart measurement is um, 6.5 cm. So 6.5 cm. So from this line, this line, we just, you know, we did this straight line. We came in 2 cm. We came in 2 cm to get this line. This serves as our first dart leg. Now the 6.5 will be from that line here. We get to mark 6.5 cm. This is 6.5 cm. Connect that 6.5 cm to point X. Okay, so this is your darts, your shoulder darts. I hope it's clear. This line is irrelevant. It's just a guide for us to get our darts. Let me repeat what we just did. We did nine c. We, we did chest width divided by four. I had nine cm, so I marked nine cm to this point. From this line here, I marked nine cm to this point. From the armhole line, I came down two cm. I came down two cm. Okay. And also mark the 9 cm from this top of the paper here to this point 9 cm then i made a straight line after that from that point i came in 2 cm then connected that 2 cm to my point x to so this represents the first dart leg now from this point i marked my dart which is 6.5 cm and you can find that information in your chart so 6.5 cm i connected it to this point and that serves as our dart so you can see that this it's your dart measurement. Now, after this, the next thing we're going to get is the shoulder. If you check your chart, you will see your shoulder measurement. On the bust 84, the shoulder me measurement is 12 cm. So what are we going to do? So we have to mark 12 cm from MP. That means we have to mark 12 cm, but we can't just go ahead and mark 12 cm because of the dart. So you're going to say 12 cm plus this dart, 6.5 cm. That's 18.5 cm. So from this point to this point is 18.5 18 .5 cm. Because once you close these dots, by the time you sew these dots together, the measurement will go to 12 cm, which is the average measurement on your chart. But for now, we're going to say 12 cm plus the dot 6.5 cm to give us 18 cm. So this is, sorry, 18.5 cm, this is 18.5 cm. Like I said, by the time you close the dots, you end up having your actual 12 cm. So, now the next measurement is to get our chest line. This is our chest line, to know the circumference, where this line will stop. Now, in your chart, the chest line is 36. 36 divided by 2. 36 divided by 2, that is 18 cm. This point here, you're going to mark, like I said, this is your first dart leg, and this is your second dart leg. Forget about this. Ignore this line. This is, this was just a guide. So, from this point here to that first dart leg, we have nine and a half. Nine and a half, right? You hold that nine and a half, and place the nine and a half here, and continue to get your sh chest line of 18 cm. So, this is... 18 cm. Gotten the chest width here. We connect the shoulder line to that line. Connect it like so and make a straight line here. So this is what we have. We are making really good progress. Okay, we're making good progress. All right, so this is where we are at right now. The next measurement we're going to do now is your, um, to get the armhole line. Now to get this armhole line, there's a formula for that. 
it's not just adding it's not like the way we did the back there's a formula for getting the front how do we get the front now write it down the formula is this the formula is half bust measurements my bust measurement is 83 half bust measurement is 41.5 okay divide your half your measure your bust measurement into two that's my bust measurement is 83 divided by two that's 41.5 after you've done that back measurement you get the this the measurement from this point to this point all right so we get the measurement from here to here that's let's say 23 so we have 23 so this 41.5 cm minus 23 that's 18.5 cm now 18.5 cm you down you add 5 cm which is standard add 5 cm to it you have 23 let's see 18.5 plus 5 cm which is 23.5 all right so we have 23.5 so from this armhole line here i'm going to place my tp and mark 23.5 so this is 23.5 Okay, so from this point here, this shoulder line, from this shoulder line, from this shoulder line to this point, get the midpoint. From the shoulder line to this point, that's 12. Half of it is 6. This is the midpoint from this point to this point. Now, from that midpoint, go in 1 cm. Go in 1 cm. Then take your French curve. The curvious part. Make sure that it touches this, it touches the shoulder points. This one here we just moved in and this line. Okay, make sure it gives you that curve. And then oh, I just skipped something. I just skipped something. I hope it's correct. So sorry, before you do this line here, before you do this line. Get your your compass part of your French curve. Place it here. Get angle forty five degree. Rule a straight line. I skipped that part. Sorry, guys. Rule a straight line. Then take your French curve and mark one point five cm on that line. You see, we even we even got the points. Huh? So <laughs> we got the points. So that's one point five cm. And then you connect this point. This was how I connected it before. I did it this way from shoulder points. To this one cm we moved in to this point first of all you first of all do that first when you're done you can place you can place your curve like this connect this point to this point then to this point okay so we're good to go so this is what the armhole line armhole looks like for the front now to get the the hip measurement so that we can have our line here the hip measurements is, our hip is 88 divided by 4 that is 22 but for the front we usually add excess to it so plus 3 cm that's 25 cm this particular pattern we are preparing is the basic bodies and the basic bodies you can use this to achieve your shirt you can use this to um, make an a-line a-line outfit just something simple a dress that is not fitted but if you're going to do wear a fitted dress, like a snatched dress, then that's where we're going to do shaping. This one now, this particular measurement is not the shape, but this is a basic bodice. We have a shaped one where we're going to shape everything to fit you perfectly, where there'll be no space, nothing. That depends on what we want to do. So from this line, from this 25, we'll connect it to this armhole line. From point 25, we'll connect this line to the armhole line okay so this is the center front and this is the center back this is the front pattern this is the back pattern now the next thing we're going to do now is to get our waist that you get your waist that from your chest width which is what we did here which is what we did here our chest width is 36 36 divided by 4 that's 9 
So from here, we're going to mark 9. Then we'll go up 13 cm standard. 13 cm standard. For the down part, 15 cm standard. That's the length of your darts. 15 cm standard, meaning it's applicable to all sizes. So to get a straight line, I need to repeat the 9 cm. So I can have a straight line. 9 cm. So I'll get my ruler now and connect these two points together. So this line for the back. The back width, our back width, the front pattern is chest width, the back pattern is back width. Our back width is 35 cm. 35 cm divided by 5. Sorry, divided by 4. Sorry, 35 cm divided by 4. That's 8.75, right? So that's how I need to get our waistline, 8.75. So we're going to mark 8.75 right here. The same thing we did, we go up 13 cm, which is standard. This is a measurement applicable to all sizes. Come down 15 cm. All right, so just to get the line, we'll have to get 8.75 cm. 8.75 cm so now we get a straight line connecting these points together all right so this is what we have so to get the that to get the dot here it is a standard measurement so from this line we're going to share 2 cm so 1 cm at this line and 1 cm at this line and then we'll connect it. Like I said, this is standard. It's applicable to all sizes. I'm going to connect one CM here. And connect one CM here. I hope this is clear, guys. Now for the front, share three CM. So that means 1.5 CM at both sides. This is standard for all sizes. 1.5 here. 1.5 here. So now we'll connect this point to this point and connect this point to this point and then connect it down. Connect this one down. All right. So this is this is your that that measurement for the front and the back. All right, now for the back. Okay, before the yeah, for the back, we're going to come in 2 cm at the side. So this is 2 cm at the side here. Whereas for the center front, we'll come in 1.5 cm. This is standard for all sizes. This is because this is a darkless bodice. Sorry, this is a, a, a basic bodice. So use your ruler, connect from this armhole line. So this 2 cm that you have here then you take your french curl and connect to the hip line using the not the, not too curvy parts come down a little bit don't give it too much curve else it's going to look funny okay so this is this is just a simple shipping a simple shipping now to connect this to this point we have to get the true bust line the true bust line Sorry, it's applicable for both sides actually, but it's necessary when you're trying to shape it for center front. So from this, your armhole line will come down 4 cm. This is standard. Come down 4 cm, which is standard. Take my ruler and connect the points together. Okay. So after connecting the points together, we can now connect from here to this place and to that place. So connect from here to this point. And then take your French curl, not the, not the two curvy parts, the less curvy part of your French curl, and just connect it like so. Okay. 
okay so come to this is not the actual shipping we were talking about shipping that's what we call shipped bodies this is the basic bodies and this is just in just to give it a little bit of shape but this is not the actual contour back because your back is not straight okay to avoid all this gapness in the zip i don't know if you always see it, um the zipper side of some people's outfits it gapes sometimes or i don't know why that happens to them so how to avoid that because this is a professional channel we do professional stuff i don't expect you to be wearing unprofessional stuff so from this um your neck point here from point zero you go in one cm from point zero you go in one cm from point zero and your waistline you go in two cm this is standard for all sizes the, the both measurements are standard for all sizes you go in two cm then take your french curve and go to the point zero where you had the one cm in connect it connect this point to the back line using your french curve this point this one cm here to the back line do not be scared that oh maybe your neck measurements will be shortened no it's not going to be shortened because our neck is not straight our back is not straight so we're going to connect it with the french curve like this hope you guys can see and um, curve it down to the back line you can see the slant curve right here so this is what then you take your ruler and connect this to cm to that back line as well connect to cm to the back line and then after connecting this to cm to the back line you connect this other parts to the hip line with the help of your ruler so this is what we have so this is it guys um I want to believe that I've done everything necessary. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. So this is how to draft your Natalie Bray pattern. Okay. This is the basic bodice pattern. I repeat, basic bodice pattern. This is the kind of pattern you can use for a free outfit, not too fitted. All right. If your client doesn't want something too fitted, they maybe just want like an A-line a line gown this is best suited for those kinds of outfits but if you're going for corset gowns um, really fitted gowns then that's what we're going to do our shape bodies and you do your shape bodies from this pattern so i'm always going to make reference to this pattern if i'm doing anything in this channel that's why i decided to teach this because to be honest most people don't like teaching this because it's very stressful a lot of measurements i understand if you're thinking it's stressful i agree with you so that's why a lot of people don't do tutorials on this but i chose to do this tutorial because i felt like majority of my sewing tutorials or my pattern drafting will always make reference to this tutorial so i wanted to help someone out there so that when i'm teaching you other aspects i'll always make reference to this video for you to watch it so that is that for that i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was informative and hopefully um, I will try my best to upload more content and show you more advanced form of the Natalie Bray pattern. Okay, more advanced things about the Natalie Bray pattern, how to draft a corset. My next tutorial will be on how to draft corsets. So you want to stay tuned to that. Um, that will be a very interesting tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. You're going to learn how to draft corsets professionally and not um, using cup. We don't use cup to draft pattern here. We draft the corset pattern itself and then insert cup. We don't use cup to draft our corsets. So we try to do things really, really professional here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel. Share this tutorial with your friends and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, I'll be happy to see you in my next tutorial and share more things with you. So with that being said, until I see you in my next tutorial, peace.